What's going on guys, it is Joss. Welcome back to Minecraft. Now, it may sound a little bit weird, uh, my voice at the moment, because I'm actually renovating my office. So there is hardly any furniture in here. I might put a photo on the screen now so you guys can see what the actual office looks like. So it may sound like there's nothing in the room and it's a little bit echoey. That's because there is nothing in the room. So um, if you guys can put up with that for this episode, that'd be great. Hopefully by the next episode, it should be fixed. We should have everything back to normal. Um, you can see in the last episode, this is the sugarcane farm. This is the final product. Um, as you can see, the Christmas pack in Minecraft, you see that chest there in the background over my right shoulder. It is actually Christmas night that I'm recording this, so it's probably a little bit behind, probably maybe one or two months behind. So try and speed up these episodes as quickly as I can for you guys. Um, I've been busy since you guys uh, seen the sugarcane farm. I've been very busy, and I'll show you guys why I've been busy. So if we go out of this view, this is what I've been doing. I've been digging this hole. Uh, where's a good spot to show you guys? I'm going to go over there. This is what I've been doing. I've been digging this hole out, and I'm going to make a squid farm, an ink farm. So hopefully this works. I'm a little bit worried because it's pretty close to the ocean here. But I've been digging this out. I'll show you guys that I actually have been digging it out. You can see all the dirt there. Um, I've made all these. I've converted a lot of this cobblestone here already into stone blocks. So that's what I'm going to fill. The, or I'm going to line the inside of these walls with. Um, did not want to do that. But that happened anyway. Okay. So I have been very, very busy. This took me about four or five hours to dig out. I only had 27 uh, TNT blocks, so couldn't really do much with TNT, although it would have been a lot more fun to actually get some stacks of TNT, which has given me an idea for my next episode what I actually need to build in this world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to line the inside of these walls. I may make this a little bit smaller. I think this is a little bit too big for what I need. So I may make it a little bit smaller. I've got to actually get rid of my... Um, I've got to get rid of my beacon out of here. Had it on haste too, so I've got to mine this out faster. Um, so what I'll do, I'll get rid of this beacon and I'll bring you guys back in when I start to line the walls of this beautiful, beautiful... Well, what will be beautiful? Um, squid farm. All right, guys, we are back. Now, you guys can see I've done one wall here. I'm just going to go sleep very quickly because... I don't, I don't like being out at night. <clears throat> My computer's running super slow for some reason. Wow. Hey, let me just close something down real quick. I wonder if that helps. <clears throat> yeah, that helped. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Okay. So let's just sleep. Hey, money bags. Hey, bro. Still tied up in my room, not going anywhere. So I've done a, uh, I've done one wall, and it has taken me a hell of a long time, a hell of a lot longer than what I actually thought. So let's just see if we can get on that roof over there. Oh yeah, as all the mobs burn. So as you see, we've done one wall, and it took up, like... Fuck you, fucker. Always a creeper, like, why can't there be a fucking chicken that sneaks up on me? Ah, uh, has to be a fucking creeper. Anyway, lucky I turned around. Um, I've done one wall, and it literally took up, like, all these. So what's that? Three by three, six, nine. So three nines, uh, whatever they are, 18, 27. 27... Oh, there's something interesting. That's very interesting. That's that's a that's a slime chunk. All right, I'm gonna have to mark that. Uh, I need to mark that. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's 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 very interesting. Okay, so. It took up 27 stacks of stone to actually do that. I've got a lot more smelting, smelting away. Uh, what I do want to do though is I just want to go and check on how this sugarcane farm is doing. Still got a little bit of overflow, but that's all right. Still working fine. Let's go and check. 
let's go check underneath here. <clears throat> yeah, so we've got a fair few stacks. That's good. So it is working. That's that's good to see it is working. Um, I want to go check my iron golem farm. I don't think my iron golem. I don't think my iron golem farm actually works works that good. Um, it is only a very basic farm. So I didn't expect it to actually bring me that much iron. And the fact that I'm really never over in this area for the, the chunks to load, I don't really expect it to be working that great. But I had to go this far away because of my other villages. So I may get rid of this at some point and actually... <clears throat> yeah, so I haven't really had any. Okay. May have to build a project over here, maybe. Or maybe just go AFK there for a while. But it does work, so it did work. But like I said, I really need to build one that's really close to my base where I, where I always am. You know, I'm always around my house. And that's where all the most of my things are. So the only issue with that is I'm too close to other villages there. I've got my trading center, which affects it. Uh, actually, does my village trade... Does that affect it? I don't know if it, it does affect it. It must affect it. Um... Anyway, I'm going to go smelt some more stone. Where's that slime going? I'm going to I'm going to go, go to grab a sign. I'm going to get some more stone and then I'm going to get back into it and hopefully we can get a little bit more done. I'll show you guys the final product. Probably will take me a few hours to do so. I will see you guys in a few hours. Hopefully my computer stops lagging because it is very very annoying. So, I'll see you guys It'll only be a second for you guys, but for me, it'll probably be a few hours, so stay tuned. We got the fire burning. Yeah, yes. All right, so we're smelting stone. <clears throat> I'm going to sit here and wait a little, guys. And uh, yeah, like I said, we'll be back shortly. We'll have this thing pretty much done, hopefully. And then we shall go on to the next part, which is going to need a lot more ice, I actually thought. Let me just see how much ice I have. I've done a lot of work with my... Uh, okay, so I've got a fair bit of ice. That's good. I did I did farm a lot of it, so... That's good, so... What the hell was that? What the fuck was that? Anyway. Alright, I'm going to go start on this other wall, and I will see you guys. Uh, you need to update this, too. We'll update this when we finish. Yeah, 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 we'll update that when we finish, so I'll see you guys shortly. Alright guys, we are back, and I have been busy, yes. You see, I finished lining the fucking squid tank, and oh my god, did it take forever to do this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to jump down here, we're going to have a look. So, I took quite a number of stacks of, of bricks. I do have an egg... Oh, crap. I don't know whether my... um. Enderpearl's going to get me out of here, but we'll see. Hoo -ah! Nope. Okay. I need to put that back on normal. Okay, I'm out. Don't even worry about it. I'm out. Okay, so the squid tank is complete. I need to go get some ice from inside, and then we can start the flood. It, um, man, this chunk never goes away. Oh, that scares me. It really does scare me that I'm going to lose this world. Okay, so I'm going to get some ice. And when we go back, we're going to line the squid tank with some ice. And then hopefully, when I flood the tank... Oop, give me that ice. Hopefully it works, because I'm not too sure that it will work. I'm a little bit... Uh, is that getting dark or is that just because it's no okay it's just the black glass okay um i'm not too sure this is going to work so i'll line the tank oh crap see this is what i mean it glitches out like that okay so i need to line the tank and i need to make some signs shit i need to make a lot of signs so, I'm going to make a lot of signs. I'm going to make two massive walls of ice. And then we're going to flood the joint. And I might cut you guys back in. 
after I finish lining the tank with the signs and explain to you what I need to do and why I'm doing it. And uh, yeah, I think we'll go from there. I'm pretty sure I've got a fair few. I've got 11 already. I hear a spider. Uh, let's take all that. And take all that. I don't like birch wood, that's why I'm using birch wood, so. All right, guys, I'm gonna make some signs and line the bottom of the squid tank with signs. And I'll cut you guys back in and let you know and talk about where, how I'm gonna do this and why I'm doing what I'm doing. And yeah, I'll see you guys shortly. All right, guys, so I've placed all these signs and I've placed the ice, as you guys can see, like a so. Now, I still have to break these blocks, so I'm gonna do that in a second, but the idea behind the squid farm, this particular squid farm, is um, once these are all water source blocks, the signs prevent the water from falling through, but they allow the squids to fall through. So what they do is they'll fall through this edge here, as I'll show you on the other side. Um, the water source will obviously break here, it'll, it'll fall to this side, which will leave one block break in between the wall and the water. So the squids will swim to the end, fall down to the edge here and suffocate. Um, and I will build more infrastructure um, around here so it all runs to one collection point, yada, yada, yada. Um, but once I do that, I just want to make sure this actually works. The squids actually spawn inside this area and they fall down here. Hopefully I've done this. Hopefully I've done this right. Um, I'm not too sure. What I will do is I'm going to go upstairs here. And I'll start to break these blocks. I have a pretty good pickaxe, so that's going to help me. I may need to set up my beacon and put it on haste too to dig through this faster. But you will need a decent helmet, which I think I do have. It's got respiration 3 on it, so that's pretty good. I'm going to get rid of all these signs. I had to actually go back and farm more ice. I actually didn't have enough ice, so... Let's put all this shit back in here. I need that. Uh, put that away. Don't need that. Don't really need anything. You notice I had to put had to put glowstone down there to stop everything melting. But this is basically what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do this for a very long time, and then I'll get back to you guys with the finished product. Hopefully, hopefully everything works. The way I think it will work, so I'll be back with you guys in a, in a little while. Alright guys, we're down to some of the last blocks. Now, I really would like to get a view from up the top here, but um, we're not really going to have a choice, I don't think, because... Um, the last block that we need to break should trigger, it should, and I'm crossing my fingers uh, that it triggers this whole, this thing just to come together and just flood, flood the squid tank. So let me just get my breath again for a second. It didn't really take too long to break all these, probably took about a minute, maybe longer than that, longer than that two minutes to break it. So, okay, so we're getting down to the last block. This one. Okay, so I'm going to break this last block and I hope this squid tank fills. Cross your fingers for me, guys. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's an issue. That's an issue. It didn't flood. Hmm. Unless, 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 no, god damn it, okay, there must be an ice block somewhere, oh shit, okay, alright, I'm going to get this, I'm going to see what's happening, this is, this is a really, this is an issue. It's a really big issue. I'll be back in one second, guys. Hopefully, I can work this out. Okay, guys. So, we sorted it out. So, what I did was I ended up having to cheat a little bit. I ended up having to place a lot of dirt over the top here 
play some ice along the corners that weren't uh, filled with water yet, break all of them and they actually filled to the middle, made it all like a, you know, one giant sauce block, uh, sauce, not as in tomato sauce, as in sauce, as in S-O-U-R-C-E, I'm pretty sure that's how you spell it, and um, yeah, broke all the dirt out, and this is what I've got, so I'm going to go down there and I'll show you guys, it actually is working, I was actually surprised, I got a fair few spawn rates, fair few drops, so what I'll do is I'll go down in here and I'll show you guys exactly how it works. And you'll probably see there's already some ink that's already been falling, which is awesome. So we know the actual the actual farm works itself. You can see the dirt that I've been collecting before. Hopefully we get some squid to spawn. Squid to spawn in here. Um, what I might do is let's... Let's just, yeah, let's go for a run. Let's go, it's quite dark here. Do I have glowstone on me? Yes, okay. So I can't really put any glowstone here. I suppose I don't have any ice anymore. I could probably put some torches back down. Yeah, let's just put some torches down so mobs don't spawn down here. Uh, okay, get this. Let's just go away like 32 blocks and then let's come back. And let's see if there is squid actually in here. Because apparently you can't be within 32 blocks. A squid to spawn. So we're going to go away for a little bit here. And then we'll come back and hopefully there's some squid spawn. So I'll be back in a sec. So we've got some squid spawning, which is a great, great thing. So let me show you how this happens. Um, the squids will spawn up in here. They'll swim around, like I said, and they will drop through. And what they'll do is they'll fall down to their death and they'll suffocate. So you see the squid squims to the side of the actual uh, squid farm, runs out of water, falls down into this block, and he'll either die from fall damage or he'll actually uh, suffocate to death. So as you can see, it is working. It is very, very slow rates. I don't know it's whether it's because I'm already here. It may take a few seconds for them to actually update and actually load in here. So... What I will do is I'm going to create a, a nice little waterway set up here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this could work. Okay, so I'm going to fix something up. Um, oh yeah, squids are spawning, so that's good. So let's watch them again. Swim to the side. Eventually they swim to the side and they'll lose their... There you go. Falls to his death. There's another one fall. He f he died to fall damage, which is good, which is what we want to see. We're getting plenty of ink, which I don't know what I'll do, but I don't know what I'll do with it, but I've got a lot of it, so that's always a good thing. Okay, so we need to set a ladder up here properly too, so we can get out, but for now, I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to cover this whole entire top with blue stained glass, because I like the dark blue stained glass. I think it will look good over the top of the water. It might look like you're actually walking on the water. So um, hopefully that turns out to be to be good. I'm going to fill the rest of this in with some blue stained glass. And yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I figure out what I'm going to do down the bottom there. All right, guys, a little update. This is the squid farm with the blue glass on top i think it looks really really good i'm pretty happy with the way it is i may do a second outline of nether rack over the top of that stone brick so you don't see where the stone brick starts <coughs> excuse me but uh that is where we are up to i'll show you guys down close here um, as you see there is squid spawning so the actual farm itself is working quite well we're not probably getting as good spawn rates as i would hoped as I would have hoped, but um, we will improve this little area here, how we get down here. We will neaten it all up, but oh, as for the moment, this will do just fine. We're getting a little bit of ink, which is what we want. Um, still haven't done anything down here. I just finished off that blue. That took actually a lot more blue glass than what I expected it to, so um, what I might do is I might just head over to... Uh, I might head over to the, the iron golem farm, take the iron golem, take the iron out of there, check the sugarcane farm, and I'll just go for a bit of a wander around. Hopefully, some more things spawn. I've got to get a lot more iron to create 
a lot more hoppers, which I'm going to need for this system here to collect all this stuff automatically. And I think I might tidy up around here too to make this look a little bit neater and sort of figure out how I'm going to get down into here. So, um, yeah, I'll be back uh, in a little while. All right, guys, we have finished the squid farm and it is very, very early in the morning here. So I'm going to be going very, very shortly. I'll just show you guys how I completed the squid farm and you know, how it looks and what I've done to create it. So if you guys want to make one in your own Let's Play world, you guys can go ahead and do that. So really all it is is just digging a massive hole and filling it with water. That's basically all it is. So um, you'll see at the bottom here all the signs that I've placed and the way I've made the water run down to feed into one collection point. So you'll see here I've got the blue glass over here. So um, there's no squid spawning as yet, but there will be very shortly. Uh, I like the blue glass. I did a little bit of landscaping out through here. I don't know what what I've installed for here. I'd like to build a mob spawner, but I think that's that may be a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna get some mobs to spawn here. I'll just go around the back. I might just do a lap. So many chickens everywhere. God damn, man. So many chickens. Let's do a lap of my world here. Just so we can get some squid spawning. I don't know what I'm going to build here yet. It's got to do something with the mansion. It's not very centered, is it? Which is pretty annoying, but that's just the way it is. That's alright. Um, nothing new around here, I don't think. To show you guys, I apologise if you can hear my uh, my computer going there in the background. Actually, I have done some stuff over here. Quickly show you guys. Uh, yeah, my computer's being a little bit of a bitch, and like I said, I've got this temporary setup, and my computer's basically right to my left here. So uh, you probably may be picking that up, and I do apologise. So what I did was I made this piston door a three by three door. It used to be, I haven't obviously fixed it all up there. It used to be a 2x3, 2x3, yeah. But I haven't got the timing right. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that. I think because I used repeaters instead of straight redstone dust. Actually, let's see if we can fix that while we're here. Actually, I haven't got any redstone dust, so that ain't going to work. I'll fix it up later. But I'll just show you guys the principle of the door and how it works. It's the same as before, it's on string. And you see it just opens up like that. So when you come forward, there's too much of a delay. I think there's like a, a one second delay. And by the time you hit it in your boat, uh, it doesn't give you enough time. Or it doesn't give the piston door enough time to react and, and open up. So let's just quickly go through here. You can see it's a much bigger door, which is a lot better. Yeah, so we need to adjust that. That's easily done with a bit, little bit of redstone, so we can do that. Still haven't got rid of that dirt tower from my uh, my world tour, which will probably be in the description below if you guys want to check that out. But let's go over to the squid farm and we'll see if all our hard work has paid off. I really need to get some ender pearls going. The, um, the sugar cane farm worked out. It looks very modern compared to the rest of things, but... I like it. I like the, the sugar cane farm. Okay, so is there any squid spawning? No, there's not. It might take a little bit for them to load in. But I'll take you guys down now and I'll show you the principle of it. I've already got two stacks of ink already, so... I've dug this shaft, which I think I'll... We'll cover it with some things and hopefully I don't die. I hope I don't die jumping down here, so... Fuck. I think I need to put two extra vines in there. Okay, that was close, two hearts. Um, how do I get through here without doing too much damage? Okay, let's, let's do this. Dig up through here. Uh, what's that going to ruin? That's not going to ruin anything, so... I'll take you guys in here and I'll show you how it's done. 
so what will happen is once the squids spawn, they'll actually fall through these signs. I explained this earlier on in the video, but what I'll do is I'll just try and make you guys understand how it all works. They swim to the edge, and these water streams now filter them down to this center, this main stream here in the middle. One thing to note is squid do not follow the like, current of a set of the waters running this way. It doesn't automatically follow that. It can actually find its own way. But what it will do is once it drops down here, it doesn't enable it to get back up this step. So then it has to go this way. And that's the principle behind the rest of it. Once it drops down here, slowly, slowly fades down. Drops down to the next one. Same principle. Filters its way down. Now this is a little bit of an issue. How do we fix this? Uh, have I got a bucket? No, I haven't. Uh, I don't think the squid can get stuck in a one one block square. So anyway, so they come down to here and they drop down onto those hoppers and they suffocate. So yeah, that's the squid farm. I was hoping some squid would spawn, but I think I'm too close for them to spawn. So I'll show you guys in the next episode anyway about how all that works. Not how much it works, but actually show you it's working because at the moment I'm too close to them and I really need to fix this up because if. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be dangerous. Alright, guys, that's a squid farm. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave the video with a like. If you. I'm still around. God damn it. It's very, 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 very late here. Um, I want you to write Sugar Babe in the comments below if you're still here. And I'll see you guys next time. Kayach. Sugar Babes.